A life-saving wake-up call for a Baldwin City couple came from an unexpected source this morning. Good evening, I'm Amy Holly, And I'm Cynthia Newsom. Smoke detectors did not sound the alarm. As fire engulfed the couple's home at 2nd and Dearborn, Beth Vaughn tells us the fire started at 1.30 this morning. At 1.30 this morning, Lynette and Brent Ojandarin escaped these flames by crawling out of a bathroom window. There's a death trap. Within 30 seconds, it went from a little smoke to you, you didn't have a chance. The swift moving fire engulfed the entire front half of their home. When we originally showed up, it was so far progressed that the floors and everything started smashing together. So it created a lot of void spaces, which prohibited us from getting to some of the fire. Captain Mike Hirschman says firefighters spent five hours putting out the flames, all while the Ojandarins watched as their home crumbled to the ground. I feel like getting sick right now. Today, crews salvaged a grill, a quilt, and some family pictures. Material things is what they are. Um, that's not the most important thing in life. We have each other. We can make our memories. Lynette says she's thankful her children were not home last night, but still worries for the three members of her family who may not have made it out safely. And we heard the cat squealing, which is what woke him up. So our cats basically saved our lives. A group of unlikely alarms. The state fire marshal's office was on scene today. There's no word yet on what caused this fire, but it appears to be a total loss. In the newsroom, Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.